ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਦੇ ਚੋਟੀ ਦੇ ਸਿਹਤ ਅਧਿਕਾਰੀ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਐਂਥਨੀ ਫੌਸੀ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਮੰਕੀ ਪਾਕਸ ਦੇ ਪਕਾਉਣ ਨੂੰ ਰੋਕਣ ਲਈ ਹੋਰ ਸਖਤੀ ਵਰਤਣ ਦੀ ਲੋੜ ਹੈ ਇੱਕ ਰਿਪੋਰਟ ਮੁਤਾਬਕ ਨੈਸ਼ਨਲ ਇੰਸਟੀਚਿਊਟ ਆਫ ਐਲਰਜੀ ਐਂਡ ਇਨਫੈਕਸ਼ਨਸ ਡਿਜ਼ੀਜ਼ ਦੇ ਡਾਇਰੈਕਟਰ ਅਤੇ ਪ੍ਰਧਾਨ ਜੋ ਬਾਈਡਨ ਦੇ ਮੁੱਖ ਡਾਕਟਰੀ ਸਲਾਹਕਾਰ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਫੌਸੀ ਦਾ ਹਵਾਲਾ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਹੋਏ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਮੰਕੀ ਪਾਕਸ ਵਾਇਰਸ ਨੂੰ ਗੰਭੀਰਤਾ ਨਾਲ ਲੈਣ ਦੀ ਲੋੜ ਹੈ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਅਜੇ ਇਸ ਦੀ ਹੱਦ ਬਾਰੇ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਾਣਦੇ ਇਸ ਲਈ ਸੁਚੇਤ ਰਹਿਣਾ ਬੇਹੱਦ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਹੈ well clearly it needs to be taken seriously because the ba5 variant has what we call a transmission advantage over the prior variants in that it has the capability of spreading from person to person more efficiently because it evades some of the protection mm-hmm. that you would get from prior infection or vaccination and that's the reason why you're seeing the uptick in cases and even in hospitalizations and a small percentage of an increase in deaths the good news about this or i wouldn't say good news but the somewhat comforting news about mm-hmm. this is that vaccinations and particularly vaccinations with boosters does continue to protect quite well against severe disease caused by all the subvariants including the ba5 so if a person is vaccinated and fully boosted with their boosters up to date. Yeah. The protection against infection because of the high transmissibility is not optimal, but what is pretty good and holds strong mm-hmm. is protection against severe disease. So it's something we take seriously, but we do have tools to counter it. Well, it depends on what you mean, Joe, by back into the office. I mean, we how I am right now in my office yeah. at the National Institutes of Health. I'm alone now in this room, but when we have people who are coming in and out, mm-hmm. uh who are here on business, we're wearing masks because if you're in a zone of a county or a city or a state where the level of infection and the dynamics of the infection is high, mm-hmm. that when you are in an indoor setting, it is advisable and recommended that you wear masks so people should not confuse coming back to work with ma- wearing a mask and okay. you could come back to work and still wear a mask and do your duties and jobs just the way we do around here i'm only without a mask now only because I don't see one size fits all it really depends on the circumstances of first the location and the dynamics of the outbreak where you are mm-hmm. and there are a large country and if you look at the map there's different colors there's green right. there's yellow there's orange so that has to be a consideration so also i think the prerogative of people who are the owners or the running the people who are in control of certain enterprises have the prerogative to make a choice as to what their requirements would be mm-hmm. and there are some that are going to say masking is required but that is a local decision that often gets confused with a national or federal decision it's mm-hmm. not it's a local decision and what we do is that we recommend that the people who are responsible take a look at the guidelines from the CDC and follow to the best of their ability those guidelines well of course and i think that depends on when your last shot was mm-hmm. so if you were a person who is fully vaccinated quote with two mrna vaccines and you have not gotten your booster shot yeah. you should definitely get your third booster shot if you are 50 years of age or older you should get your fourth booster shot and the FDA right now is under active consideration about whether people younger than 50 years old should get their fourth booster shot mm-hmm. so i believe that if you're 8 9 months yeah from your last shot you should not wait until the fall to get your booster shot got it you could get a booster shot now and then 2 3 months later in the fall if an upgraded or an updated booster becomes available get another one that's more specific to the circulating variant then you could get that also well boosters are free i mean you don't pay for a boost 
So, I mean, I think there's this confusion. The United States of America has spent billions of dollars uh, not only helping to produce, but purchasing the vaccines from these companies. So people should go get their vaccine. I'm very concerned about that. And that's the reason why you hear all of us, myself included, out there saying we really do need additional funding. First of all, Congress has been very generous with us in the past. So we don't want to give the impression that we're not grateful for the support we've had. Yeah. But if we want to continue the effort at a more than adequate, but at an optimal level,